Peter Kiola, designer and architect. If we are thinking about how to, to keep sustainable a city, no? through things like a bus, I think uh, Milano, with all the problems that has, uh, the last uh, Christmas uh, had um, a little um, tram that was a Christmas tram uh, with a lovely light and uh, all the city. It was very nice to walk by the city and uh, find it uh, coming and moving by the city. Then I, I had this uh, lovely emotion in that, the, the last Christmas. But I think we can do a lot uh, in this way, Capito, obviously. For me, it's not anymore a sexy topic and nothing of this is just a reality now. I think finally, finally, we are not speaking about this uh, and we are not thinking it's a label or it's an etiquette or it's a topic. It's, it's, uh, finally, we are a little bit finally concerned about. Then uh, I think the citizens, the designers, the industrials, we, we try in, 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 in in any little action, in any little work, to try to find partiality of this sustenance. And I think perhaps we will get something from this. Milano is a problem, it's a city with a lot of problems. One, for example, is pollution, and uh, uh, it's one of the biggest because it is so flat city where you can, in, in one way, have a, a Sunday uh, when everybody has to go in bicycle and there is no traffic. But in another way, uh, uh, it's a city where we're still not resolving very well our problem of pollution. And I think we, we have to do much more. Uh, but uh, the only way is to involve the, the citizen doing things. I think Triennale uh, now is trying to, to rethink herself. And they call me from the mairie, how do you say, the, from the, for the city council, one month and a half and they call um, a few um, architects and designers to, to study a project of light that I think is, can be very interesting. It's going to be a LED project. You can use Comunque kind of the phone, another kind of uh, light which is not LED, but uh, for next Christmas, and uh, to find a sustainable new way uh, of uh, Christmas lighting for the city. We can work on buildings, we can work in the streets, and. Uh, they want that we really give them a, an answer and I'm very proud to, to participate to this and, and if we can uh, rethink you know, this moment of uh, uh, happiness in the city, you know, which is Christmas time, with uh, rethinking light and uh, in a, I hope, a little bit more intelligent way, I will be very happy. We, I'm waiting for what is coming out from my work and from others' work. <laughs> Obviously, obviously, culture goes nearby, uh, sustainable, evident. But uh, our cities, they, they have to grow in melting pot. They have to grow in, uh, in uh, mixing. I, I don't have a fantastic English, sorry. Yet, but trying to, to, to integrate, to integrate. I think we need to integrate uh, anybody, any kind of levels, social levels and situations and educations and and uh, obviously the problem of sustainable is very important. I think uh, I live in Italia, in a city where the cafe, you know, the bar is on the, on the plaza outside and uh, we've got this fantastic weather always and uh, now we begin the springtime and summer and we live a lot in the piazza and um, this ritual, I think, is one of uh, the rituals we have to, to keep and, and to use. And another ritual, I think, is important is as we are here in Axel, we are in Palacio Visconti. And uh, it was not because of the looks, I think because of the, um, our heritage is the only thing that in moments of crisis we can use in a very sustainable way, because it's something that is for all of us. But if we use it, then 
I hope that all the companies, they spend their money to do all the things out of fair in places that they give to everybody who comes to this city. And we, we use it with a lot of respect, our heritage. Echo. And we give to all the people that come and, and visit us. By the moment, it's been many times uh, uh, sustain, uh, not sustain the country of this. Uh, then, till now, we have a lot of little wrong histories. Perhaps we, we can say in the future they can, are going to come more and more. But bueno, this city is flattening bicycles, bars, outdoor, and uh, all these elements work well. But they still been very a lot of wrong things. Echo. We need we need a lot of, of help and to think a lot, rethink. I think to, to break the idea of uh, from nine to five is one of the best. I think the, the flexibility of work, the timing, use the, the time on the city, I think, is the, one of the elements that can help a lot to humanize. Because if people um, can mix the, the time for working, like, oh, and uh, the, the, then the city has to propose things out of work capital in many moments, then I hope the nine to five. Uh, uh, you know, this American, I love this, this the word 9 to 5, that represents a lot, you know, Americans they know, and it was this heavy way of working. Um, I hope it disappears and there are many ways to, to mix. Uh, build for the community, then for generosity and not for greed. But uh, still being very complex, the, the limit between those things. I'm not a person who, who believes a lot in visions of future. You know? I try to, to keep on looking on present and trying to see if there, is, there are little changes. And if I see little changes, I, I go on. You know, I visionary point of view. If I have it, I don't tell it. I go.